Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning back into another episode. Today, we're going to buy an automobile that very likely might end up being my daily driver. So, uh, I thought I'd make a video, take you guys along for the ride, and uh, just do a little bit of recap along the way. So, uh, with uh, the whole plan, we're about an hour and 45 minutes away. So, we shouldn't be very long in getting there. Um, and then, hopefully, it'll be it will be dark so we'll uh we'll just see uh but let's go ahead and roll the intro and get this party started and girls thanks for tuning back in um, we've got a lot going on right now but I always on marketplace and always just looking for another Honda and this one kind of popped up and most of the time whenever I see a hatchback Civic whether it's an EG or an EK I don't really get too excited because they're they're kind of played to the point now where everybody's owned them they're pretty worn um, you know they still bring a pretty fair amount of money um, so it's just it's hard to find one that's nice or desirable for a fair price uh, so most of the time what I look for is four-door Civics or uh, you know SUVs you know things that you know everyday ordinary daily driving material kind of things so um, this one popped up and it just so happens to be you know an hour and 45 minutes away but I talked to the owner and I can't remember his name right off the top of my head. So uh, we'll just omit all that from the video. But I talked to him and the car had some previous work done to it. And now it has a miss. Um, might not run very well. Um, I haven't seen like a video. I've seen a few pictures of the car. So we're going to make the drive up here tonight. And we're going to go ahead and you know check it out in person and form our own opinion. We've agreed upon a price. If that price, um, you know, if after I look at the car, if I'm still interested at that price, obviously we'll bring it home. So as I mentioned before, the objective here is, I used to own one of these pretty similar to it. Um, way before my YouTube started, um, I had a 98 Civic hatchback that my family owned for like the better part of 10 years. Um, had less than 100,000 miles on it. A couple days ago, that one popped up on Facebook Memories. Ironically, I found this one a few days later. I think it's all like, you know, in my head, but at the same time, it's a factory automatic car. It's got AC, um, it's got 165,000 miles, but make a really good DD. So hang out, enjoy the ride. You know, we'll do some montage, you know, show some scenery or whatnot. And, uh, We'll check out the car, do a little review at the gas station or something after I buy it, and uh, hopefully it's exactly what I think it is. Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning back into another video. What better way than to make a YouTube video while we're, you know, encountering some obstacles. So boys and girls, um, this party started around 10 o'clock this morning, actually earlier than that. Um, it began with a little diagnosing of my battery on my trailer. Um, come to find out it's got a dead cell. And we learned this when we were trying to winch a car on. So a few minor setbacks, but 
The topic of this video is I'm getting a new car and today we're picking up the donor swap for that new car. So guys, I've got the car in my possession. Um, we're actually on our way to pick up, like I mentioned, the donor car. And the donor car is a EG that happens to have a B-Series swap in it. So the plan is we're gonna buy some conversion pieces for the EK side of it because the EG won't fit. And then we're going to put the B18 in the EK and probably boost it eventually, but just put it in there for the time being. So um, we'll pick you up when we get there and uh, stay tuned. So kick off a new series. It's not a game, it's a red thing. All right, guys, so it's obviously later in the day, um, but we've made it back. I'm trying not to step in dog poop. So um, we had a very eventful um, time picking up the donor car. So what I want to show you guys next is both cars kind of like, you know, formally. So I'll show you the swap after we look at the Midori green car and uh, kind of show you a few of my plans and kind of what's going to take place in the next episodes. So let's go ahead and flip the camera around and get started. So guys, just bear with me on the audio. I'm not really sure how well the audio works whenever you're behind the camera. So this is obviously a 96 because that's the only year that they made the Midori green cars. The hood itself um, is like wrapped or uh, plastic dipped, but the car is like all factory color. It's missing some stuff like this little guy here. Um, but overall it's like fully intact. So as I mentioned, it's got like 160 some thousand miles. It's obviously an automatic, but we've even got a hatch cargo cover in there. So right now it's a D16 Y7 and we're going to be swapping it to a B18 non VTEC. And we'll look at that here in just a second, which happens to be in that car. So the, uh, the Y7 in here, the story behind it was it got a head gasket and then it started missing on one of the cylinders. I just didn't really want to put a lot of effort into trying to fix this. Um, like I said, this car is probably going to be something that I knock around in for a little while. So it's all factory, um, looks in pretty good shape. So we're going to buy some mounts, a uh, clutch master cylinder and the brakes, uh, like the pedal assembly, and then we'll be ready to put it in. So boys and girls, the way that this is all situated here, you got to keep an eye on the dog poop so you don't step in it. Um, so this car is actually going to be case swapped. So it's a running driving B18 inside it. So we're going to get leakage. We're going to get the wiring harness, even though we don't necessarily need it. Um, we may need some plugs for hours or something to extend it. But the way that it's situated, the... Uh, the swap's complete. So whenever I flip the camera around here, um, we've essentially got everything we need to make it, you know, a naturally aspirated car. So it's a B18B1. If we look on the head, what does the head say, guys? I think it says 95. So it means it's a 1995 Integra LS, which you know, everything's OBD1 and OBD1 car, so that makes sense. Transmission is supposed to be an LS, which will be great for us. Basically, this is going to be a repeat of what was in my EK hatch on you know, a budget where I can pretty well enjoy it. So we're going to pull the engine, the long block and stuff here in a very, very soon episode. And then we're gonna sit it to the side and we're gonna take the car itself. We're gonna take the car itself to Infamous so it can go ahead and get underway with its case swap. So I've got a cover for it. Um, we're going to move it around here in just a little bit before hopefully any other weather comes. Um, this time of year, it's apt to snow any day. So, But guys, that's the plan. 
we're gonna take OBD1 LS, put it in the 96 car, make it five speed, and I'm gonna boost it. So I've got a kit right now, like an eBay turbo kit, probably going to use some of it, probably just do the kit I normally do. Um, but overall, should be a lot of fun. This is gonna be what I would say you could call my street car because it's gonna be streetable, it's gonna be legal. Doesn't mean you can call me out and I'll street race you, but at the same time, it is a street car. So um, should be a lot of fun. I've not had one of these in a long time. So super affordable, follow along, do it yourself and enjoy it. Guys, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing to the channel. Make sure to give me a like and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. See you guys.